Jam on toast! Today's just been one of those days. It's just not been the best. I was late getting back from lunch, so I stayed late. I went and ran, which was slow, like everything else. Two bright points of the day. On Facebook, they had a Daria look-alike type thing, which got me excited because my friend and I always joke about her being able to be Daria and about who the potential good stars would be to play in the upcoming live-action movie. So they had 11 Daria cosplays, which I thought meant 11 Daria. You know, there was a couple Janes and one Quinn. But I always thought of Daria as actually kind of cute, and some of these cosplayers definitely made it work. Very happy about that. Other bright point of the day was one of my friends in another state, unfortunately, is attending a passion party, which got me talking, debating about that, and how prudish people are about talking about sex in general. One of my other friends got excited about it, but she was disappointed I wasn't going, or hosting, or whatever. But the bright part of that was is that if I do throw one, she's down. Which motivates me all the more to go get a Sibian and try to throw that party. Now John, it's your birthday. So happy birthday. And I guess we're supposed to be nice to you on your birthday, but by golly, you deserve it. Uh, da, 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 edit your video! I understand that I sound like a retard about half the time, even when I am speaking coherently. But I still take the time to edit my video and cut out all the crap people don't want to hear. I'm so glad you're doing annotations and finding videos for us to watch and discuss. But I don't want to click on the annotation and stop your video. But normally I go down to the description. I didn't see them because I scrolled down to a disclaimer and didn't see any links above it. Let's put everything above the disclaimers. No big. What is a big? I couldn't tell which one was which. So I just said, oh, screw it. And I didn't watch them. John, we are in a generation of robotics. Believe. Clap your hands and believe in robots. Robots put together this camera. Robots put together your TV. Robots have been doing manual labor for us for quite some time now. There have been intelligent design computers for quite some time. Deep Blue is the first and foremost that comes to mind. If you don't know who Deep Blue is, he was a chess playing computer. National champions and we used to go against them all the time. If you go back and look through the videos, and all you have to do is go back to the description, and I labeled them, you can look at Roxy and there's sensory nodes that work there. There's learning personalities there. There are other learning personality programs out there. Very cheap versions of AI. There are video games you can play where the AI actually learns. If you just go look for it, the Japanese have a ton of humanoid robots. All it takes is a proper software hooked up to that hardware and that personality program has an outlet for function. It has an ability to learn and interact with an environment of its own free will. People are already walking around with pocket PCs pointed out that it's the iPad. iPads are the first generation. The big problem with pocket PC type things is the power issues. Being able to use X amount of power and not wear out the batteries because our batteries are inefficient. We need a new energy source Why they're trying to crack cold fusion. They may not get there, but I'm willing to bet we'll find something else that's pretty cool. Now, if you look at rocks, it doesn't take a lot to cover up all those robot parts and make it look somewhat human. It's a whole other world to make it look somewhat attractive, which is why I, t I tagged in the real dolls. They seem to be the only one who's even close out there. Everything else is pretty bad. But that doesn't mean that we can't get to an iRobot stage here pretty quick. The key there is affordability. All the technology is already here. We already have computers that can learn. We already have robots that can do everything a human can do. Eventually, over time, these things will become affordable, or at least more than they are now. That's when everybody will have purse comms. All right, thanks for the jam, guys. We'll be your toast. I'm Camerai. Have a nice day.